Hey guys, welcome to the first video in the concrete series. The objectives for this video are to talk about the difference between concrete and steel. We're then going to talk, be talking about the difference when concrete is in tension versus compression. And then we're going to discuss the need for reinforced concrete. So first of all, concrete and steel in the stress strain diagram. So you can see the steel, which we might have seen before, is linear. Okay, It's quite linear until it yields and then we have some weird stuff going on. But for the concrete, it's consistently non-linear. Okay, so the concrete stress strain is nonlinear and the steel is linear. So that's the first important point about the material property of concrete. It is nonlinear. So that makes it a little bit more tricky. The second thing we're going to talk about is concrete in, in tension versus compression. So, say if we have a beam bending like this and we have a characteristic strength of 32 MPa. So this would just be the strength given to you by um, the concrete maker. He would say the concrete strength is 32 MPa. Now, when we put that beam into when we put when we put that beam into bending like this, say, uh, the concrete's going to have different properties of compression and tension. So the concrete may fail or may crack at 32 MPa in compression. So if we have our beam and we're bending it like this, like my ruler, the top part's in compression and the bottom part's in tension. Okay, so compression and tension. So the concrete can handle um, compression really well. So it can go up to say 32 MPa, the characteristic strength. But concrete does not handle well in tension. It's a very brittle material. So the tensile strength of the concrete might only be 5 MPa. So you can see that we're getting these tension cracks forming. So once again, the main point I want to take from this is that concrete um, handles very well in compression, but not so well in tension. So that then brings up the need for something called reinforced concrete. So reinforced concrete would look something like this. So say if we have a section, a, a rectangular section, now, everywhere is concrete, except down the bottom, we have these bars. Now, those bars act in tension, these steel bars.